Here we go to the middle portion. And the middle portion, we will expand upon this, and we'll do the same thing. So as we go through it, we'll move it a little bit quicker. Now as we go through divisions up until 7 and then 8, and that's an important point that you want to keep in mind here. Between 7 and 8 divisions, but by that we mean generations of branches that are taking place. Well, now you notice that there's goblet cells. Hmm. Well, those goblet cells become important for us. Earlier, we talked about how we have mucus, and that's called reed index. I'll repeat that again. This is still non-respiratory. What does that mean? This is the conducting zone. Its responsibility is to do what? To conduct air from the ambiance into the alveoli. It's, it's, it is its strict, strict responsibility. Here we have bronchioles, and then once again, we'll find these to be the conducting airways. Let's take a look at the infections here again. Well, number two represents the most common cause of pneumonia in children, virally. This is respiratory syncytial virus. A child. Well, what about a child? Where are they playing, perhaps? Especially nowadays, right? Parents are so busy that they, th they can't take care of their, their, their children. Eh, just the fact of life. And so, therefore, early on, you start placing the child in a, uh, a daycare center. You have to be careful <laughs> and not say nursing home, but a daycare center. So, you place the child in a daycare center. They're playing around, and uh, they might get exposed to a lot of people, of course. And so, during that time, a couple of things that a child develops quite commonly would be a pneumonia or respiratory issues, and then also and diarrhea as well. Interesting enough, both diarrhea and the pneumonia that we're seeing here, virally, both begin with the letter R. Hmm? So we have respiratory syncytial virus, virally caused pneumonia in a child, and we have rotavirus, don't we? And that's a diarrhea, rotavirus. There's bronchopneumonia, as we said, more distally. You know, bronchopneumonia, it's the fact that you have infection in the bronchi. Here, Klebsiella pneumonia becomes our primary example. Diseases. Here we have asthma. With asthma, the one that's all too common in our society is atopic type of asthma. Atopic type of asthma is one in which the individual has been exposed to environmental allergens. Okay, that's one. And then you have the intrinsic. And by intrinsic, we mean what? Uh, much, more com much, much less common, but maybe perhaps we have an adult who, upon exposure to the cold, has asthma-like symptoms. What is this? This is part of your... It could be part of your chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The three that have quite a little bit of overlap with signs and symptoms include, once again, asthma, chronic bronchitis, and emphysema. And we'll take a look at where I'll show you shades or circles in which we have overlapping signs and symptoms. And then, of course, chronic bronchitis, we talked about as well. And with all that inflammation, at some point, you might cause complete destruction, annihilation of the bronchi, and difficulty with getting air out. So when you say obstruction... Are we referring to difficulty with getting air in? Not at all. It's difficulty with getting air out. For example, how can I prove that? Is emphysema a COPD? Of course it is. And tell me about your anterior posterior diameter or anter anterior posterior size. It's enlarged, isn't it? And it's because, once again, air is being trapped in your lungs. It's important that you pay attention to the organization. And as we go through here, get a nice little overview, don't you, of your infections and diseases. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.